All right, hey guys, uh, I want to talk about some things, some quick, simple tips that you can do to improve your finances real quick. Um, they're not going to be very specific. They're going to be kind of general, but it will give you a framework for what you need to do, okay? And um, I want to talk real quick about goal setting. Now, the problem with goal setting for most people, especially weight loss surgery patients, uh, you guys don't set them right. I love y'all, but you don't set them right. And and imagine your typical weight loss surgery patient, right? When you say set goal setting, what what automatically pops into your head? That's right, your weight, right? You're you're all automatically thinking your weight loss goals. But I'm gonna tell you, that's important, but it's not the most important thing in your life. It's not the most important goal. And in fact, what I tell my patients, and you might want to write this down, is. I want you to have big ass goals and big ass dreams that push you to doing things you're uncomfortable with. And then one day as you're working towards your goals, you wake up and you realize, dude, I'm skinny. Because in order to have accomplished your goals, you had to work on your health. You had to eat better. You had to get rid of negative people. You had to um, study. You had to make better food choices. You had to surround yourself with better people. And then you wake up and you're like, dude, I'm thin and I'm healthy. So what I say is skinny is a side effect. I need to put that on a t-shirt. <laughs> skinny is a side effect. It's a side effect of your dreams, your desires, and your wishes. And the reason why diets don't work is because having a goal weight just isn't compelling enough. It will not serve you long term because the second life happens to you, BAM! Car wreck, cancer diagnosis, mom is sick, mother-in-law needs to move in your house. You guys are like, oh well, it was good while it lasted, Dr. V. Now, now life happened, so now I'm putting my weight loss on the back burner. You understand what I'm saying? So it doesn't. So having weight loss as a goal, in a, in and of itself, it's important to measure it and keep track of it. And I teach you that too. But, but to make that the end all be all is is foolish. It's you. It's too easily distracted. So what you want, you want big ass goals. Just like a big ass salad, you want big ass goals. All right. That's the first thing. Is that most people when they're goal setting, they just set their goals too small. I'll give you a very good example. I'll give you a very good example. All right, here's a small ass goal. Dr. Vong, I'd love to write a book someday. Okay, first of all, that phrasing alone tells me they're not gonna ever write a book, right? No, sure would be nice to write a book someday, right? Well, let's say something like, okay, Dr. Vong, I'm writing a book. Okay, good, all right, uh, what's it about? It's about my story. What about your story? Well, you know, I've seen a lot of shit and all this stuff. It's just really, I think it really motivate people. First of all, nobody cares about your story. That's the first problem, right? You think you do. You think you have an interesting story. But you'll never get it out there because one, most people are too embarrassed to tell it. Number two, they start writing and they're like, yeah, it's not very exciting, <laughs> right? So most of those books never get written. Now, the reason why, why it's not a big-ass goal, Dr. Vaughn, I wanna, I wanna write a book someday. Okay, do you wanna write a book or do you wanna sell a book? Eh? 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 It's a big difference, okay? I'll give you an example. So, I wrote this book. This was actually my third book after screwing up the first two times. Ultimate Gastric C Success, right? And it's basically what went through my uh, clinic, how I did my training and stuff for my clinic uh, for my patients right and I put it into a book form so I wrote the book right I have the book written and then I realized everybody who's having a surgery uh, initially it was a sleeve everybody who's having a sleeve needs to have this book in their hands because it's a really good book it will help right so then I started thinking well my purpose then is to sell a book sell a book so the selling the book is a much bigger goal than just writing a book, if that makes sense, right? Because once you write the book, like, oh, I wrote the book, but it, one, if no one reads it, what good is your book? What was, the, what was the point? If you have such a compelling life story,
but no one buys your book. What's the point? And then I realized if I'm going to sell a book, I have to learn new things. I have to learn how to promote it, how to do ads. I have to learn how to run specials. I have to be compelling, etc. Right? So that's that's a different. That's one example of the average person setting too small of a goal. And so you want big ass goals. That's the first thing. Uh, Dr. Vong, like, what's big ass? What's small ass? Whatever. So, you know, I'll give you an example, like. Do, do you have a book now? Back to the book example. Do you have a book now? No. Well, um, do you understand that it's the same amount of work to write a book as it is to sell a book? Okay. Do you have a business now? No. I want to start a business. Well, do you understand that it's the same amount of work to have a business that does $100,000 versus a business that does a $1,000,000? It's the same amount of work, right? So why not have a million dollar business or a, tw a hundred fifty thousand? Just you know, grow grow your business, right? Why not set these big ass goals, right? We're gonna talk about network marketing later, but like, why why just like most people who sign up for Mary Kay or network marketing, they'll say, oh, I'm gonna sign up and I I sure hope it works. I'm I'm gonna really I'm gonna really work at it. Like like no, that's not good, right? Set your goals. Like I'm gonna do twenty thousand a week. Right, so my MLM right now, our top earner does forty thousand a week, a week, and the guy that's above me does fourteen thousand a week. Right, so I need to get back on that business, by the way. So, but get your big ass, get, make your goals really big ass. Now, don't make them stupid, <laughs> but not stupid. Right, <laughs> underline stupid. Um, don't make it stupid so you got everything takes steps right so you want to push yourself because if you sit there and say I want to make a hundred million dollars well yeah but do you really believe you can make a hundred million dollars do you even understand what that process it might, it might be too big of a leap for you and when it, it becomes too big of a leap right it 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 might um, knock you off vibrationally it might be too discouraging so it's a fine balance where you want to be a big ass goal to you might not be a big ass goal to me a big ass goal to me might not be a big ass goal to you right so dr. Vaughn what's a big ass goal well what's gonna make you uncomfortable uncomfortable but not stupid uncomfortable like, mm, I'm really gonna have to stay up late if I want to hit that goal I'm really gonna have to like read a book a week if I'm gonna hit that goal. I'm really gonna have to go to this conference. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to make enough to get enough money together to go to this conference uh, if I want to hit that goal. Do you, you understand what I'm saying? All right. Now there's this whole smart goal thing, and I don't like smart goals, and everybody talks about smart goals, but you know I don't want you to think about smart goals. I just want you to really. This is probably the nugget right here. Is make your goals where they're uncomfortable, and also this is a like that. It's important to have your weight loss goals, but it's not the end all be all. Don't don't make your whole life around your weight loss goals, right? So get to this. This is what you want. Okay, that's the first thing. Next thing to help improve your finances, I want to talk about because it's kind of woo woo. Most people think it's woo woo, but it's not. Okay, I want you to have a vision board, and in fact, when I do weekend workshops, I'll I'll put patients through and have them do a vision board. We will do. We'll do a whole music meditation thing where we have them put together a vision board, what they really see. Now, I'm going to tell you, a vision board changing, changed my life. So, as you might know, my, when I applied for this job back in 2000, I applied in early 2013 in uh, Albuquerque for my directorship position of bariatric surgery. Uh, I actually went and created a vision board. And you can do it on a big board, poster board. You can... You know whatever makes sense for you like you can cut out magazine pictures if you don't know what a vision board is just real quickly it's just images that you put onto a board that you stare at every day and it could be a fancy car a boat a relationship a big house you want a uh, Ferrari blah blah and then people stick it onto um, onto a backing now that's a dumb vision board so that, that would be a stupid vision board <laughs> But then there's a smart one, right? So back to my story. 
So when I interviewed for this job and I decided that I really liked it and I really wanted it, uh, before, before I came down from Illinois to Albuquerque to interview for the job, I opened up my laptop and I just did a PDF now and I started cutting and pasting because this was before I got really good with uh, editing software. I just started stealing images off of Google that were very specific, and here's the key, specific to my goal. Okay, so I wanted the job in Albuquerque at Westside Hospital. So what did I do? I went to Google and I looked up Westside, Albuquerque Westside Hospital, Loveless Westside Hospital. They, I picked the image I liked the best, copied it, pasted it, copy and paste onto my PDF document, right? I took um, who was the CEO, right? The CEO of that hospital, put his picture up there. I put the guy who was gonna hire me, my boss, his picture up there. I put a big picture of Albuquerque, right? The city, the mountains in the background. Um, I, I, I put, I took a picture, I had a picture of myself in my doctor's gown, and I put that, my doctor's robe up there, uh, and um, I actually cut out um, the, my old hospital's logo, and I pasted the Loveless logo over it. <laughs> So it was a very specific vision board is my point, right? And then I printed it off because it was on my laptop. I printed it off and I, pay, I put it all over my house. So where are you gonna be in your house? I put it, um, back then I was watching television. So I put it above my television. I put it on, on my freezer. So you know when I go open the, when I go to the refrigerator, it's on, it's on my refrigerator. I put it in my bathroom mirror where I brush my teeth every morning shaving. I put that picture there. Uh, I put it at the in the laundry room because I was doing laundry. I um, no, don't laugh at this, but it's true. I put it uh, on top of my bed, over my bed. I taped it to the ceiling, so that whenever I looked, I woke up. It was the last. It was the last thing I saw when I went to sleep, and it was the first thing I saw when I woke up. And guess who got the job? <laughs> and. It's a funny thing because when I kept looking at this image that I had created of me in Albuquerque being director, I um, I started thinking like, oh fuck, like if I really want this, I need to start. All right, how do I how do I how do I beat out other candidates, right? Okay, well I got to research the market, so I started researching the market. I called uh, my old reps and I was like, hey, I'm, I'm from Houston. I was like, do you know anybody in Albuquerque? I, I talked to the reps in Albuquerque. I was like, tell me about the systems, the hospital systems, what's up? So when I came and interviewed, I had a big black binder that had letters in there, letters of recommendations, but I had my own, I had a business plan. I, I better learn how to write a business plan. Luckily, I knew how to write a business plan from all the real estate stuff that I lost all my money on. So uh, I had a business plan and I, wow, I told them, I was like, here, here are your competitors. They, they were, at the time, there were these three competitors. And I said, here's the surgeon there, here's the surgeon there, here, here's their problem, here's the problem, here's your problem, here's what happened, here's how we fix it. So the business strategy, I'm gonna build your social media following, we're gonna do a very safe surgery, we're gonna da 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 And they were like, what, wow. But I think that happened because I did this vision board because I, because I wanted the job, but it, 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 I just had to have this constant reminder of what this goal was before it sparked in me, before it became a reality. Like, oh my God, I was gonna leave this hospital. Like, like I'm gonna move again. I'm gonna, like, you know what I mean? Like, it, it took a while. Right, so what I want you to do right now, tonight, is think about one specific goal, right? So I know some of you all watching, and maybe you wanna be a personal trainer. Well, I want you to do a specific vision board on what that looks like. Like take a picture of yourself, put it into a gym background. Imagine having a lot of people, like people working out under you and you're kind of like looking over them or helping them or smiling faces or whatever. Really make it real. And even think of a name, like maybe you want to call it something. So put your name, training, certified trainer on top. You know what I'm saying? So whatever business or idea or relationship, I want you to get very specific vision board. Not this fluffy stuff vision board. Like someday I'm gonna drive a Ferrari. Someday I'm gonna live in Hawaii on a big mansion. I'm gonna travel. I'm, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna speak in a stadium of ten thousand people. That's my my vision board. <laughs> so there's fluffy stuff vision board. Stupid like fluffy stuff, which is okay. But I want you to do a very specific vision board. Uh, fi finances, relationship, your physicality, how you look, six pack abs, all that sort of stuff. 
Um, I had one vision board where I cut my head off and put it on Bruce Lee's body. <laughs> I like Bruce Lee's body. And Manny Pacquiao, you know. Um, so I hope that's been helpful. I hope it gives you a lot to think about and things to do. I love you very Hi, much. Hi, Dr. Vong here. If you loved that video, I hope you will check out Velocity2020.com. I want to meet you in person. This is my big annual conference in Vegas. It's amazing. It's not just about weight loss surgery, but it's about taking your life up to the next level. You're going to meet the best people, the best speakers, the best audience possible. You're going to really take your life up to the next level. 2020 is all about vision, clarity, and focus. We're going to show you how to find your vision, what you really want to do with your life, get crystal clear, clarity, and then find your laser focus to do what you need to do to have the amazing life that you deserve. Hope to see you there.